are we doing? Are we are we are we hearting? Are we exiting? What are we thinking, guys? I know it's not the same. Maybe there ain't nobody like you. Do you feel the same? Happy Friday. I'm just waiting for Chintz to get home. I'm a bit bored to be honest, just waiting for her. I got back from my holiday last night. I had some food poisoning, so that wasn't great on the travel home, but feeling better today, sticking to the dry foods. You know, I've had a bowl of bran flakes and that's it, but I'm getting a bit hungry, so I might have some soup. I feel like there's a can of tomato soup in the cupboard, so I might have that, but I'm also whitening my teeth. They look white. So I've been told not to have tomato soup, but it's the only thing we've got, so I think I'm just gonna have to go for it. Um, but yeah, welcome back, welcome back to the vlog, guys. I'm just on my bedroom floor. Got my piles of washing that I need to do. That's my pillow. I don't know why that's not on its chair. There we go. It's currently when Tuesday, and Chintzy is also coming back from where was she? Morocco, Marrakesh. Um, she's coming back today as well, so I'm literally waiting for her. I'm just like waiting for the door to open i just don't know what to do with myself um so i thought i would just start just start the vlog say say hi catch up what's been going on um i have a it's cold my belly i have actually that's not comfortable my belly's a bit sore the vomit i have a book recommendation if anyone i thought we'd just start the vlog on a nice wholesome note with some book recommendations from my holiday because um, I read a couple that were really good. Now I did put these on my Insta story, so I'm sorry if this is a repeat of information, but the first book I read was this. Now my granny actually recommended this to me and said it was fantastic. And um, she's a bit of a book, oh shit, got my water. She's a bit of a book critique. So I knew it was gonna be um, good if she said it was good and it was. I invited her in, Adele Parks. The first like, this like the last half, the last like third, like it all kicked off. Like I kind of thought I knew where it was going and which I kind of did, but then like the last like, maybe like this much, like that, that bit there, like, not that bit, maybe like oh, a bit more than that, like that bit there, that's where it all kicked off. But that was really good. So I would recommend reading that. And then I actually found this at the hotel and maybe I shouldn't have taken it. I'm not sure. It was in like the baskets at the end of like the corridors where people just like left books that they'd already read, but I actually took it home, which... I probably shouldn't have done that, but I wanted to give it to my mum because I knew she would like it. I'm not actually finished it yet. So I had to take this from the hotel. So whoever left this at the hotel, I really appreciate it. And this is The Third Wife by Lisa Jewell. And this is probably better. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. It's better than that one. But this one's still really good. You still should definitely read this. But this one was, um, I'm not even finished. Where am I up to? That little hole there. Not that big one. That's not mine. This this one here that's where I'm up to am I yeah I am god I wish I got through that really quick this is really good this is basically like starts with like uh this guy he's got like two ex-wives one current wife first chapter like first page like she jumps in front of a bus and it's like whoa and there's kind of like you know the whole book is like going backwards and like seeing how we've got here and it's like all these like you know things coming out of the woodworks and all of this lot but this one is really good so i'd recommend this if anyone needs any holiday reads um and of course the girl's bathroom book which you should have already pre-ordered now uh, but that comes out in august so yeah i'm just sat on the floor wait doing my washing i've unpacked my suitcase very productive got two loads of washing on, but I washed my white jeans. I got these white jeans right from Zara, took them out of the washing machine. There's this massive like stain on them. So I think something's gone wrong in the washing machine. So I've basically put them in again, which I'm not sure if that was the right thing to do, but I'm gutted because these trousers just fit really nice. I'm hoping they're gonna be fixed when I wash them again. If not, don't know what I'm gonna do, but uh, yeah, happy Friday for you. Happy Tuesday for me. Just, uh, waiting for my friends to get back <laughs> i don't know what to do with myself but um welcome to the vlog i'm not sure what we're gonna do in this vlog but we're gonna do something okay moment of truth i just heard the washing machine finish did the trousers get clean see i only put that like some stuff had stains on it so i put like a handful of things back in 
not worth a full wash. Mum would be shouting at me right now, but the things that had stain on, so I just rewashed them. Let's see. That is what was all over these things, but they look kind of clean, but I didn't bother washing that again because I thought, oh, I don't really care about that. It's just a gym top. But yeah, what is that? It's almost like a pen was like in there or something. So weird. Let's see the jeans. It didn't work. Do you see what that is? Like, what is that on these white trousers? It's kind of faint. It's fainter than it was, but like, can you see that? It's almost like pen. It's way more obvious in person. Yeah, it's like dirt. I'm out of vanish. I don't know what to do. Look who's back. <laughs> I've had quite the journey. <laughs> She had quite. It's taken about three days to get home from. It's been a 24-hour ordeal. More than. This cost me a costly. Why are you telling stories? Good story. So this is me. I need. I've not washed my hair in a week. I had a blow dry. I washed mine just now. Oh. Waiting for you to get back. I had a blow dry the day before I left, which was Thursday. What day is it today? Tuesday. Tuesday. And I've been in the Moroccan desert. Oh my god. And I've been to the gym twice. <sighs> and it's filthy. I just could I just didn't have the strength. Oh my god. So I got to the She's airport. a tired woman. I got to the airport. Yeah, it was yesterday, wasn't it? Yesterday morning. Had a the night before I had a night on a food tour. The food tour was good. And the food tour was from the man That's amazing. He was on mm. film. Yeah, I didn't watch it, film. so I didn't, but, but he, I thought, wow, that's really cool. He was the, t and he was saying, he, oh, he was the man who took Phil on to a few places in Marrakesh, and he took us that's to the really same places, cool. which was, I thought it was the coolest mm. part of the trip. So I had a whole food tour in Marrakesh the night before, and then we woke up at about 7 a.m. to head to the airport, no, flight was at 9.45, head to Casablanca, which is a stop off in Morocco. It was a 50 minute flight, and then you're from Casablanca, you go to London. Mm. So everyone checked in, well, I got to the thingy first, and I was with Sam, one of our managers, mm. and Sam's flight gets checked in fine, here's your ticket Sam, brilliant, put your bag on the belt, and then she goes smiling, she's like, we don't have a booking for you, and we don't have you on this flight, and I was like, oh, here we well, go. Here's the booking confirmation. Here's a screenshot of the mm. of the booking thing, and she's still like, "No, it's not there." And I was like, "That's really worrying that you can book on a flight and not be on it. How does that even work?" And she was just like, "Here's the Royal Air Morocco number. Call them." And like, I can't do anything. And we wasn't out of the flight, and we hadn't even gone through security, like mm. you know. God, so I tried awesome. calling them. The number wasn't working. Eventually, it worked, and then we get through, and. He's like, oh yeah, um, I can see your reservation here, but um, it's not confirmed. You're gonna have to contact eDreams. What? And I didn't book the flight for myself. Right. The, the brand booked the flight for. for it was a brand me. trip. It was a brand trip, and the brand for the. So I'm just like, pff, like you know, like it's out of your control. Like, I didn't book mm. on eDreams, and now I've only got 40 minutes to the flight, and mm. I've got to call eDreams, and mm. I think that's just gonna take the piss. Mm. So I said goodbye to all the girls. I was like, see you later. Goodbye, everyone. Go get on your flight. A few, I think a couple of tears dripped down my face. Definitely, I would have been crying for sure. So I put my sunglasses on, a couple of tears, mm. because we were all on Sky Scanner. No flights to London today. There was literally nothing. It was all booked. Couldn't even book Do you know why it's like. Couldn't even rebook myself onto the Casablanca flight. Because right. I was like, well, I'll just quickly rebook my. No, can't even. It's mm. full. There's no flight. Do you know why it causes a lot of stress too? Because you're in a place that you don't really know. Yeah. Anyway, I thought fast. We went and looked at the board. There was she a thought flight quick. to Paris at 10.20. It was about nine, it was about quarter past nine. Mm. I was like, we're getting on that flight. That's got our name So it. I went on Skyscanner, booked us on, and it said, you've got to call Air France, because I can't complete your book. And I was like, I know. So I had to call Air France. I was like, this isn't going to work. I was like, this isn't going to work. It worked. I paid over the phone. Oh, wow. We walked straight, there was a massive queue still for Air Maroc. Walked straight to the front of the Air France queue. Checked in, she took the bags. This point was half an hour and I was like, we've only got, we've got 40, we'll, we'll go to Paris. Right. And then from there, we could get the Eurostar or we can, and we'll sure there'll be a flight home. to England from Charles de Gaulle, mm. Charles, Charles de Gaulle. Mm. And I saw there was a flight at half six to London from Paris. So I got on that flight thinking I was getting on there. I was like, well, we'll just book ourselves on to the half six. Right. And we'll get home. 
<laughs> so we got, we were on the Paris flight. I was like, look, at least we're going to Paris. Right. It's, we're, it's, we're pretty close. We're a stone's throw away mm. once we're off this. Mm. Because it's... And also, you know Paris. Yeah, I thought Eurostar, it's super easy. Yeah. It's a train. Mm. No more flying around. Yeah. No more airports. But then we get to Paris and I realised the next flight to London from Paris was at another airport, a different French airport at oh. half eight at night. And it was £400 each. Oh my God. And I was like, Sam, I'll make it. Luckily, Sam didn't leave me stranded in Marrakesh, even though she could have got him a Casablanca vibe. I was I like, Sam, Sam, I'm making the executive decision. I'm going to stay in Paris for the night. Right. Because also there was no Eurostars. That was it. There was no Eurostars yesterday. And yeah, the next one's four hundred pounds each to get back to to London from Paris. Not worth it. Maybe we'll get you a hotel. Right. And I chill out, mm. and then get so the train. I text Lydia. I mean, the only um, hotel I knew was the Shangri La. Sophia, where we stayed, and that was not expensive. spending that. I was like, I'm not spending that right now in this moment <laughs> of panic. Uh, <laughs> so I text Lydia. I was like, Where do I stay? She mm. gave me a list. I picked the one that was nearest to the train station. Booked it, so I was at Sam. We'll go and get a taxi. Sweet. Oh, it was very quick from Smooth. Paris. Get to the, get. To, we're in Paris, and I was so disorientated. And then get to the hotel, check in, easy, and then the crazy. owner of the hotel was like, "I'm the owner of the hotel." No. He was like, "This is my family home." But uh, um, and he was like, "So what? Do, what brings you here in Paris?" I was like, "We were just in Marrakesh. Just trying to get home from I Marrakesh." I was like, "We were just in Marrakesh." And <laughs> just flight, trying to get back. We had a mix up, <sighs> and here we are in Paris for the night. Oh my god! Like, oh, oh, I thought he was going to give us an upgrade, but he didn't. Oh. And he was like, well, "When life gives you lemons, hey? right?" But he did say we could have anything from the mini bar for free. Oh, that's nice. But it was only like one bottle, like a bottle of water and a coke. Oh, and then she's, oh okay. Still, um, book the counts. And then yeah, we're in Paris, and then I booked us a Eurostar the next day, eleven a.m. Eurostar. And we were out of there. We had a nice dinner last night. Mm. I got a I got a picture. I bought a I bought a pink fluffy dress yeah. to Marrakesh, which I didn't wear. And I was like, shot it in Paris. Paris. It's the most perfect. I shot it in the in the in the doorway. Wow. So nice little Parisian picture. Wow. And, and she was there. See, this is I'm why, back. like, I'm so scared to travel alone, because if that would have kicked off when you were by yourself, a solo traveller. Surely I would not, I, would I don't like know to, what would, would have like, happened there. I would like to have put faith in one of the other girls would have stayed with me. But no, also, I mean, I mean, like, if you were just alone. Oh. Like, that's what I mean, like, travelling alone. That's like, right. going to visit, like, just right. alone. Like, I think that was a good character building moment for me. Right. Because I was saying, I was like, I've never had such a stressful travel situation day in the sense where it was like, where do we, you know, what, I'm not mm. on the flight, I've got it's to go somewhere smooth. else. You know, when people always say those stories about, mm. oh, the, well, then we had to stop off in Milan and, yeah. you know, we had to, and you're thinking, oh, God, it's not happened to me. Mm, no, it's it happened has. to me now. And, no, what if an it ever happens to me and Sophia, I'll be calm collected and know how to do a situation but we're back now but i'm exhausted i need to wash my hair well it's a lovely day in london that we've come back it to is. it's pretty warm it's glorious it? this morning it was like hot i was like what was it yeah when nice. i stepped outside i was in my shorts i was like this is lovely okay. but we're going for dinner with grace tonight miss grace beverly we are that's gonna be fun so it's about 2 p.m yeah just, I need to where we go mildred's going to mildred's in soho I haven't been there. Who remembers when we first moved into this oh. flat and since you got that Mildred's curry every night for about four weeks? I don't even know if I've got the taste buds for curry right now. I don't, I need some in plain. Uh, I need, yeah, you need light. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna nip to the gym. Oh, I'm gonna dry my hair. I'm gonna nip to the gym. Back to reality, get back on with our lives, hey? Yeah, back to, we've got a lot of shit to deal with, that's for sure. <sighs> a lot of shit to deal with. Oh, gosh. Business woman doing we're, business we're gonna be, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be absolutely fine. Oh, we're gonna be fine. It's a lovely evening. It's sunny, it's gorgeous. We're just gonna meet Grace for some dinner. We're going to Chickama, lovely Our local. Padron peppers. Paddies. That's the plan. And We're just trying to. Fish beignets. Yummy, yummy, yummy. First one's here. Grace is 10 minutes late. <laughs> Not very punctual. <laughs> no one else. I mean, we're 10 minutes late. No one else is in the restaurant, but the first one's it's in the 6 restaurant. It's 6 p.m. Yeah. early. I've never sat outside before. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's lovely. It's so much nicer inside than it is like from outside looking in. Don't you think? Yeah, from outside looking in, it looks a bit weird. Yeah. But it's really nice when you're in it. I don't even need to look at the ladies. I'm honestly sweating. Like that, that walk has really made me like hot. Yeah. Actually, like boiling. Because was speeding it. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. 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 Oh, I'm so sorry
I'm going to get the prawn, I'm going to get the squid, I'm going to get the black rice, I'm going to get the little beignets and the croquettes. Hello guys, oh. little interlude this is before a, this video gets going. This is a jam-packed vlog, I tell you. This is jam-packed. This is my snog stain from our froyo with Yikes. chocolate hazelnut. So, what we're, we're doing today is we're here to tell you about all plants. plants. Very convenient plant-based meals that you pop in the microwave or the oven, but it's quicker in the microwave. And they're delivered to your door. All different cuisines. Box. We've got a truffle mushroom orzo. We've got Some a of truffle them take cauliflower like cheese. Literally seven minutes in the microwave. Crispy roast potatoes. But what we're gonna try? The I wanna try the truffle cheese. cauliflower cheese because I've never tried this one. They've got like mac and greens. Mac and greens. They've got the bolognese all sorts. is a personal favourite. Yeah, so we're you gonna like whack that this one in the microwave and we're gonna give it a try all right false alarm we're gonna do this one instead for the purposes because this one is only for the oven so for the purposes of oh, video yes. for the purposes of production and tv <laughs> we're gonna make the truffle mushroom orzo which i haven't had either i've had I'm this just, one before i'm just a dedicated bolognese i've girl, had this one be before honest. and it's good so this one is eight minutes in the microwave look you can oven it but why would you oven it when you can just pop it in the microwave why would you oven it when eight you minutes in the microwave? In she goes. We gave her a bit of air. Our microwave is so high. <laughs> it's such you so it's high also up. It's so confusing. You, 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 oh, well, not 30 minutes. Seven. No. Eight, I think. Eight. Seven or eight, yeah. We'll do eight for good luck. Oh, you see what I mean? Yeah, it's a weird there one. We go, and Boom. Yummy, we'll yummy. Da, 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 da. Seven minutes later, bing, bang, bomb. It's like rice pasta. It smells but it, it, really so good, It actually. looks like rice, but it's actually little mm. pasta things. It looks like a beautiful little risotto. Mm. We're going to so, share this. And uh, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Yes. And there's no dairy in this, so it's really great. That's so true. Isn't it? Good morning from Casa, Sophia and Chintzia. Good morning. Oh, we're having a slow morning today, not rushing off to the gym. We're taking it easy. Um, there, had, there was dirty pots and pans in there for a week in our wash, in our... Well, I put that on before I went. Well, there was a dirty shit in there. She left after so, that. Was I was the one that left smelly. There. there was a little smelly. Um, we had a quick call this morning. Our pre-sale tickets for the Galentine's tour have gone on sale right now as we speak. Literally, um, which is 10 a.m. right this second. Kind of nerve-wracking. She's just got an acai bowl. Has that had one in? We're like going one? into Soho this afternoon. Um, heading into the city. Heading into and, the um, But we're just taking it slow this morning. Taking it slow. We're going to go to the gym. We're yeah. going to do a bit of a 12, 3, 30 this morning. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do that, yeah, we're gonna do that, and that's currently the situation. Oh, as sweet, sweet as I am. Great news. We're going to the gym. It's gym time, baby. It's uh, 12 3 30 time, which is actually 12 4.8, 4 4.7, something, like something like that. Lauren Geraldo's incline of 12, speed of three, but really in England, it's like in nearly in five, and then so for 30 minutes very deceiving for the England folks. It is very deceiving. I'm, it's, um, it's half 11. Very slow. Very, it's not, I need it, oh God. You know what I was also thinking about? Getting the yeah. big headset. Same, but I, now I'm going to Because I've lost more. my AirPods. Right. And I did well because I kept hold of those for like three years. Right. And now I'm back to these. But I'm actually thinking about getting the big ones. The big ones will be hard to lose, that's for sure. Well, but it's you also, I mean? but then the problem is with the big ones, like you can't really put them in your handbag unless you've got a But big they bag. have a, a little carrier. Or like, I think when you're traveling, you just wear them around your neck. That's the But line. I'm thinking like, if you're just around town, you know? If you're just like, around town. Yeah. What do you unless do you're in them? like, a, unless it's a casual day, yeah, and you've just got them around your neck, and there, that's just the and vibe. That's, I think that is the vibe. What like, is going on with this oh camera? My God, this fucking can is a bag of shit. There we go. But if anyone's got the big one, I mean, we used to be Beats girls. Always. I would wear my Dr. Dre Beats, my wireless ones to the gym. You had nude. Every, I, had I had white. that nudie pinky colour, mm. and then just one day they just, I think I dropped them. They just stopped working. 
and it was really sad. Me too. Yeah. But also like mine. My... I had them for years. Years. I had them because for... there was a boy that got on my bus. Yeah. When we would go to school, he always had the purple ones on. I was like, you look sick. Should we see how much um, they are? Because yeah. I wouldn't mind the pink ones. I think to be honest, what happened with me what they called was Apple Big Air. They're called Air Max or something. Air Max. But um, the Beats. There you go. They, I think I got Ooh, they're, AirPods. They're, they're, they're 400 quid. 500, but 469. I was not expecting I was that. I not expecting that. I might have to stick with I was what we've got. They've got the, yeah, they've got on Selfridges, 474. How much were beats? I remember they were a big spend back I in the day. Remember, that was a big Christmas, I think. I remember that was. it was one of our. I had to put my own money in as well. I remember it was one of our first paychecks from like YouTube. Was and, it? And I went on Argos and I spent three hundred pounds on those beats or two fifty or whatever. And I remember it was like the first thing I bought, like technology wise, like myself. And I remember like it was that was like one of the first things I bought. But we had them at school. I don't think I did. Maybe you did. I don't think I had them at school. Did I remember you not? I bought. I was still a pom pom. And I oh no! Gym. See, I had mine when we were like at school I in our blazers. Ones at school. Because I remember when I first, do you remember when I first got the nude? Oh, oh, did I have wire? I had wire ones. I had white ones with a wire at school. Oh, do you remember right. that, the nude ones okay. that, that were wireless? Because it was brand new. Yeah, You've never new. seen wireless ones but like that. But my white ones were wireless. Yes, I know. But I feel like we got them at the same similar time, the wireless ones. I had mine I in had a blazer white. and a tie at right. school. Because so I had my white ones with a wire. I had one black wire. I know wire. you had that wire. Um, and I then remember. those nude ones. The only thing was with them is they would get very sweaty. sweaty. And if you had any sort of like makeup remnants like here, it would go on it. And the, you couldn't, they, were, they weren't the most hygienic. Because with white ones, like a makeup wipe, but then the sound would go like they weren't. That's the only thing I remember about those. But the Apple what they And your they earrings, you know, if you've got hoops in, yeah. sometimes it's like, ow. The Apple ones look big enough. They do, they look, don't they? But mine were the big ones, anyway. I know. We should go try these on. We probably should try they them They are on. sexy. Did they you have to plug them in to charge me? Must I be. saw someone on the plane with them and I thought, they look good. They're nice. Mm. But then, there's nothing wrong with these. I no, actually no, no, really they, like I the wire. I prefer a wire to the AirPods yeah. any day. Because the convenience of just like not having to charge so is true. unmatched. Because so like, true. are we gonna have to charge those? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head to the gym. We're gonna head to the gym. If anyone's got Apple Air Max reviews, let us know. Let us know. Because we're thinking about it. Good. Then I need to do some more washing. I need to put my washing away that I've already Look done. Just need to do the live tasks. Nice stickers though. Full to the brim. Thank you. Where Amazon? I got right, you a the really cute big ones are from Etsy. So like the Which Apple, one's your favourite guys? This one's my favourite. Yeah, same. So this is Etsy. The big ones are Etsy. That, 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 the burger. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, the sushi that. And then these are just Amazon ones that was just like a oh that's from Etsy as well. So cute. Uh, I love that sushi. I like the like the England flag. But they, they look a bit more rustic now. They've been a bit scratched up. That's you good know? though. I like it. Really cute. Um, but if you just type in suitcase sticker, stickers, those big ones come up. Mm. And there's literally a picture of a suitcase with stickers uh, on it. And it's those big ones. And they've got, so they've got loads more. I just bought. Let's all decorate our suitcases one, this two, summer, guys. Three, four, five, six. Did you get a hot girl summer sticker? We're here. Two working. So we're just gonna have to uh, wait it out. Wait it out. Hope she's not doing a tour through this as well. I think she's been on there for like six minutes. Hopefully she's just warming up. We ordered salads. And the man is here. We ordered from our favourite place, Atis. But this time we build we build yeah. our own. And I, I didn't get Caesar. I, I switched yeah. it completely up. Oh my god. I got I got quinoa. Oh yeah, it's eleven. Eleven. I think. I think it was. I think it was eleven. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Woo! 
Addis, Addis, Addis. One standard chop romaine, herb quinoa, cucumber. That's me. Black beans, avocado. That's me. Oh. Balsamic. And then I've got romaine, kale, broccoli, chickpeas, cauliflower, charcoal, black beans, boiled egg. Oh, you got boiled eggs. It's nice with the boiled egg. Yeah. I love boiled Woo! eggs. I think, all right, let's watch. Let's put something on the TV and watch something. Also, because I did so many lovely. orders of stickers, because I got a bit, I just, I, I, I think I just, I went a bit crazy. I got a bit overwhelmed with stickers. Wow, look how good these oh are. Oh my God. I um, ha keep having stickers arrive in the mail, so we're going to decorate soap cases. Well. <gasps> look at these. Oh my God. Sophia, oh. is that chicken? What's that? Cauliflower? No, what's that? That's chicken. Sophia. Oh no, oh, no. wait. That's an artichoke. I didn't have artichoke. Wait. Is that my, that, was that my one with, the, with chicken? I didn't put chicken. What did it read on the thing? Say chicken. No, no chicken in No there. chicken. <gasps> it's fine, we can take it off. Wait, but is it, is it the wrong bowl entirely? Oh shit. You know, is it- Oh, you're so bowl? right. I'm gonna have to no, but I got chickpeas. Okay, you got cucumber. I got cucumber. I got I got um, the crispy the shallots. There's the parmesan, the artichoke. There's the black beans. All right, I think they just got just a bit overwhelmed. And then we got two. Oh, these are delish. Smart lemonade. Oh, these are so nice. What they the sauce that we've got? they have so lemon, lime, strawberry, and apple cider vinegar. Vinegar. Oh, is that the balsamic and the olive oil. Yummy. Yummy. Okay, let me okay, take Alice. off the chicken. Right, I've removed the chicken. Goodbye. Goodbye. But it seems to be everything. Oh, I've got a little lime wedge. At least it was your To squeeze. Salad. Yeah. You ready? Mm. Ooh, look at my hand. Oh. Ooh, it's slippery. Oh, it says, yeah. oh, it's slippery. I can't squeeze it. I don't like squeezing lime. I'm not a I do. Squeezer. I've really got into it. There we go. Delicious. We're just deciding what to watch. This is my recommended. I've been watching clips on Robin Malik because he's going to a wedding we're going to. <laughs> because it's a friend of a friend, of a friend. So I've been looking up, that's a bit embarrassing. We've got a bit of Sarah Basker. I love Sarah Basker. I know, look how long this vlog is, 56 minutes. What's she doing these days? She's still vlogging and stuff, she's still posting. We've got a lot of uh, Trixie and Katia mm -hmm. here. Um, oh, what am I doing? No, we wanna go down here. This broccoli's really good. Yeah. Oh, we've got a bit of TLC. Tammy fails to reach Dr. Smith's goal again. Tammy. There's, oh, there is a new Hot Ones actually uh, with the Stranger Things girl. Why don't we watch Jordan Woods' vlog? Oh yeah, typical day in LA. Yeah. Oh, I've never Jordan. watched any of her vlogs. Right, we're gonna dive in. Hello. God. We're in Soho. Just had a lovely meeting with her. We love our accountant. We do. James, if you're watching, he definitely won't be, but if you Mr. are. Mr. Plumby. <laughs> it was a lovely catch up and happy birthday for tomorrow, Mr. Plumby. So now we've just seen a snog. So we're gonna go and get a snog, right? So we are I just happy. said, oh, should we go and get a snog? And we are. Okay. Can you picture us sat in meetings with like 40 year old men? <laughs> right. Talking about business and money. It's it's like stressful. two today, we've got one more tomorrow. And it's just like it's just a lot going on. Oh, I love it. Just trying to sort our shit out. One snog secured. Yeah. We've had this before. We've never had any from the shop, but we always celebrate it. We're pretty good at it. Hello. Hi. Good morning. We just did shooting our Adidas campaign. We are Let the faces of the newest Adidas campaign. We are so happy to announce <laughs> Sophia and Chintzia at Adidas. Adidas. This was unplanned. <laughs> Striped sisters. Green We're, and blue. They actually looked really cute together. Yeah. Like the outfits. Like they should girls. actually be in the campaign. We so we just did the podcast. podcast. It was a really great one. We are now, so now we've got a meeting at three. With and it's currently lot, yeah. half past 12, so we've got a bit go of time to kill. Yes, we've got to go down. Oh, yeah, we we're going to go grab some lunch. And Maybe we're actually going to go to Selfridges. Zip to Selfridges, because isn't his office near that? Uh, yes. Yes, yes kind of. It is, because yeah. it's near. Yeah, but um, I'm going to a wedding at the weekend, so I need is. some like white heels and a white bag. Right, well, we'll be able to find if I can't find it, it's not the end of the world, I'll just wear something else. But like, but I would we, like white heels and a white bag. You can find some 
nice white heels at least. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and we might get some sunglasses. We're, I'm, I'm so into sunglasses. Like, I felt like it was never a, never a thing, thing I bought cared about. But I felt like they really can elevate a lot. They, they, they were, really cool. They really can, You know, yeah. when you see a girl with just like some cool sunglasses, sunglasses on, on. Like, some people are just like sunglass people and yeah. they wear sunglasses you know all the time. It's the same Cousin. as becoming a cat person. True. I remember years ago I'd say, I feel weird with a cap on. True. If I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. Who wears caps? And then you always went for and a And now of a cap is my go-to. Always. When you want to hide your face, you pop a cap on. I feel like sunglasses are the same Same territory. kind of vibe. Guys, is this stupid? Do we get these over sunglasses? Help us. Wait, you can't see the girl. We haven't been selfish together in a long time. We're very excited. <laughs> They're kind of cute. Oh, yeah. Guys. Look at these. These weird. Are these, I like are these weird? Because they have this. They're a bit like science glasses, but I kind of like them. I fit they, they they they're really nice to look out of. Everything looks warm, but they did look they're a bit googly. Yeah, you see, like science. Uh, they look cool on some angle. I mean, what about the purple ones, look, guys? I want my purple. Well, look, they this have the, what I want. They have them like this. Oh, wow. Do you like them? What do we think? Are they a bit? You can pull them up. <laughs> I quite like those. How much are we talking? What do we think? I like these. What a weird No, these. I like these. I think it's really got my hair up. I like these. I don't know if they suit my face. Sorry. Sorry. I like those. Look, they have these ones in lilac. Oh, I'm sorry. Are these cool? Or is it? What are these? Nice. These are totally up. What fancy? I, I like the ones you just had on. Those ones. Yeah. Without the side thing. The side things, I think. Sophia, try these. Oh my god, try these. Try these. Look, these are like great. I like no. those. Oh, oh no, you don't like those. Try these. Hello. She doesn't like the. They're a front runner. What about but these? I don't know. You and you've got. Yeah, they suit yeah. you. You suit sunglasses. I'm still Is not really why? sure if I suit sunglasses. I don't know how I feel. I, I, I like these. It's just awesome. like, how often am I gonna wear them? Do I look like that character? What's that? I don't know if it's like science goggles. Yeah, what's that character? I think that is. Yeah, the bar in the middle. Well, now I'm looking for a bit longer. See, I like these, but I wish they didn't have the side bits. I like the purple. But is the side bits cool? I don't know. I think the side yeah. bits cool. You do? I can't figure it out. Right. I th a winner for Sophia. Really? Seriously. You know when you're so you look like. Go to that. Go to the full length there. Yeah. So. The yes, you do. So wearable. Oh, yes, I like them. All right, we left with no purchases. We were getting well a bit done. ahead of ourselves. We got a bit excited, I think. We, we got a bit excited. The orange. Is that Ivy Asia Hiss? It's, who's that? I feel like we know him. What was I saying? I think we yeah, got we a bit excited. The, I think we saw the colour neon orange and neon blue. And I think the fact that there was two, we got excited that we we're going to match. Yeah. And we, then it's here. Yeah. And then oh, we, we got a bit ahead of busy. ourselves. We're going to try and go to Knack for lunch because we are never really about town. And Knack, we haven't been here in months. He just, since last year I think, so we're going to try and get a spot but I'm not sure if we'll be able to fit us in. Okay, it was full, Darn unfortunately. It, wait. So we're going to go to the We've only got an hour hall. anyway. So yeah, we're going to walk back. Selfridges Food Hall, haven't been there in ages anyway. Hi. Okay, this is what we've decided on. So we're getting a salmon mouchoir, a langoustine thing. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Look how good this looks. Look at this. Um, yeah, I know. We get some quinoa. We're getting those prawns. So is that enough? A bit more. And then that's good. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, look how good that lasagna looks over there. Oh, right. Yeah, perfect. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. It's beef lasagna, but it looks yeah. fucking amazing. Here's our basket of lunch. <gasps> so, so oh, we've got a kind of expensive. Are they? 10, 16, 10, 14 for the langoustine. I thought it was going to be like 20 quid. This is going to cost us a bomb. 
this is going to be like 100 pounds. We fucked up, we fucked up. Okay, well that settles back 60 pounds, not what we were expecting. Yeah, but look, we're going for a light lunch. I should fucking hope so. Should be the best thing we've ever ate. Would have been cheaper to, been cheaper to wait an hour at the restaurant. <laughs> oh well, it looks good. We live and we learn, hey. We came back to Snog. We had got 45 minutes to kill. We just can't say now. We've got taste for it now. We've got chocolate. I've got white chocolate chips. What have you got today? Um, essentially what I had yesterday with strawberry sauce. Yeah. And this is the little one, and it's huge. It's huge. You enjoy that. You enjoy that. Mm. Cheers. Cheers to us and our snogs. Good morning. Tickets are on sale. Tickets are on sale. Literally four minutes ago, tickets I, went on I, sale. I, I'm so scared. I'm, I, I We're went, on the website. I went through, like, on the London Palladium, like I'm buying a ticket. And I'm thinking, are these what, all what's... gone? Surely not. Surely not. What, what's that Wait, mean? So oh, where... that's different prices. <gasps> the grey ones are gone. Yeah, where do we want to sit? Let's pretend what? we're gonna sit here and hit. Oh my god, my the god. Ones have oh gone. Oh my god. Wait, so people what? have really filled up the back back bit. No, that's the front, that's the front. Oh. The stalls. Oh shit, there's the stage. That's VIP. Oh my bad. I'm getting confused. I thought You're this putting was us the back front. Here. Oh shit, sorry, girls. You I can't even see your hands. Sorry. I thought this was the front. I'm getting confused. No, we want to sit right down here. Fuck. We want to sit oh, down that's there. That's scary. Oh wait, now we've got four tickets. All right, I'm gonna have to get off this. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh my god, we're so excited. We're excited! Now we need to actually plan the show. Yeah. <laughs> that you've all bought tickets. No, don't for. worry, it's gonna be such a cool new show. We've already had a lot of call, uh, calls and chats about like the set design and stuff. Set's gonna be sick. Um, and it's obviously the girls' bathroom live, so you kind of know what's gonna go we're down. We're low key thinking, but um, like... it's gonna be bigger and better for sure. Yeah, we're low key thinking, no guess. I think we should have a couple. A just, couple? Just, just scattered about. Yeah. Did because did we tell you what happened last time? No, I don't think we did. But people, we like booked in guests for every show and then people were like dropping, dropping out, out like the day of. Like a couple hours before, people were like, I'm not going to make it. Yeah. So it was kind of just a lot of stress. So it's like we don't want to have to rely on a guest. But then the guests that we did have were right, amazing. Were really good. And they brought so much really to the show. If we can get like any guests that you guys would want to see, let, let us know. know and we will try and get them yeah. on it. Um, yeah. We obviously can't promise, but we will definitely we'll try. Definitely try. Um, Might have to pay them some money. Have to pay them dipping the day in, rate. Dipping into the, the <gasps> dipping into the going, in, once going again. into a minus again. Going into a minus once again, but it's all worthwhile <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> On the tour oh, line. Wait to get back on the road. And it's something to look forward to in Feb, like yeah. you know when all the crisp January's over, and it's like it's going. Yeah, because I can get a bit sad in Jan. Right. I think we all can. Yeah, like I, I don't enjoy January. So it's going to be a good time to look forward to. We're very excited. Yeah. So. <laughs> and he wants to see a sneak peek of our book. Oh yes. Ooh. I'm reading it through Ooh. again Ooh. on our computers. Which bit should we show them? Show them the fun bits. Oh wait, what page was I on? Maybe show them a page with a quote. And because that's Let me show like... you this tiny bit. Should we show them this page? Yeah. This is just like a tiny little oh. takeaway. Oh. Oh. Ah. So it's like full colour. Look at that illustration. So nice. So gorgeous. Look, zoom in on the makeup. I know. It's like the illustrator really took things like what we wear. Like, look, those are my pink heels. My yeah, pink that's heels that pink. are there. Look. Look. Those pink heels are there. Are there. How funny is that? And that pink shack yeah. and bag too. That's like the yeah. blue one. She did. She did. Um, pink blazer. That's probably House of CB. Yeah. Classics. Aww. Such so amazing. Detail. So cute. Eek. I'm sorry, but not to spoil any more, but how cute is this illustration? Uh, Jack 27. About day online dating. What are we doing? Are we are we are we hearting? Are we exiting? What are we thinking, guys? I'm gonna I will probably I'll heart. Heart. Beep, beep, beep. Guys, you guys, so we're going to see Harry Styles next week. We're going to see Harry Styles with Lydia and Mariana next week. Eek. And I'm joining the sister band for the Harry Styles concert. And I ordered us some hats. 
and they've come. They came so quick. That was really quick. Good, because I tried to get so many cute ones on Etsy, but none of them are going to come in time. But one on Etsy was like 20 quid, and right. then from a party shop, the same hat was five pounds. Literally five pounds. So, oh my God. So we've got two pink and two silver. Wow. Yeehaw. They're cute, man. How as it was, I've got a ponytail in. You know it's not the same as it da, was. Da, da, da. You need to listen to the new album. I know, oh, this, that's my task for this weekend. To listen, like... it's it's really grown on me. Okay. I'm I listen love to it. it, I've listened to it quite a lot actually, and the more I listen, the more it grows on me. Yeah. Apparently, Lydia says, um, the fans say that when Harry comes at you, you can't wear your hat, because you're blocking everyone else's view. Oh. Yeah. So, so we why can, have we got these? Because we can wear them in as we're waiting for Harry. Oh, uh, just not actually for the concert. we're properly blocking people. We've got to take them off. The courtesy. Well, yeah, because it's like Coachella when like someone who's like six foot right. stands in front it's of you and fair. it's like, hello. It's not fair. Wow, two looks kind of cute. The double yeah. hat. As it was. You know, it's not the same. We well, like, oh, just a da, month ago. Is it going to be a similar show? Well, this is his full concert. It should be better. Wow. Because that was just a festival that he... But it was still 80 minutes of Harry True. content. I feel True. like it could be... Who knows? True. Wow, these are great. They're these really are great. good. They're really good. good. Five so each. next week, that's going to be the video, guys. Harry yeah. Styles concert. Get excited about it, because we are. And if you go, we'll see you there. Oh, my God. We're going to Manchester. We so. are row nine? Row nine. Something like that. Lydia booked them. See you there, <laughs> ladies <laughs> and gents. Woo! Right, we've actually got a call now with about the tour, about the stage. With the carpenter. Who's going to be soaring. Soaring and creating the phenomenon the stage. of the stage. So we're that's the on that now. That's the current situation. That the sounds like it's going to be pretty It's good. going to look... We're talking like pink floor. That's all we're saying. We're talking that's like, all a, we're saying. like a pink... Uh, fortress that's it that's it because everything has to be pink um but yeah so we're gonna end this vlog here guys see us next week at harry styles no! very excited imagine we had uh, imagine he did like a meet and greet and we were like meeting him i don't know how you prepare yourself for such a thing he doesn't do this do no you? but imagine imagine like you just knew like i'm meeting harry next thursday how would you meet I remember when Justin Bieber when we were like, you know, oh 15 would do like his meet and greet and it was like a thousand pounds. That was just and it was like ridiculous. But like imagine you could just pay for that now. Wow. Whoa. Thing is, it's just like a picture, isn't it? Right. It's not like a 20 minute convo. It's not it's a like chat. a hi picture. And bye. leave like for a thousand pounds. Anyway, right. thanks so much for watching this video guys. Thank you so much to everyone who has bought tickets to come and no! see us on tour Whether that's in September at the Savoy or for the whole big tour in February Feb? We're very excited to see you all we and wait. We're so happy that you guys are excited and buying tickets. It really means a lot to us It's such a fun um, thing to do. We're like, it's who so gets to fun. go on tour? Like if we, we don't sing, we don't dance and we're going on tour. It's like How have we managed tour. that? Bizarre. But How have we managed amazing, that? amazing and we're so grateful we get to do these things. We love so. it so much. Um, so yeah. Thank you all for see sponsoring. You. Oh yes. We have a code. Sophia Chintzia YT. Two five. five, and that gets you twenty five percent off your first box. And there's a link in the description if you need it. So get your all plants meals. We'll see you next week at Harry, and we'll see you on tour. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.